What's up guys? Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com. Today to talk about Cyanogen Mod 7 for Captivate. That's 2.3.3 Genuine Gingerbread for your Cappy. Now this is an awesome piece of work uh, from the Cyanogen Mod team and we're looking really forward to teaching you how to install this. This is the official tutorial from MobileTechVideos.com, our video tutorial on how to get this onto your Captivate because it's an awesome piece of development but the uh, instructions are, you know, they're so-so, they're, they're, <coughs> they're not too bad but uh, really cool stuff, uh, genuine gingerbread for the Captivate we saw a release of this in a flashable zip earlier um, maybe probably at the end of last year and I covered it with the video but it was really unstable, really hard to flash this actually appears to be usable so let's go ahead and teach you guys how to do that now obviously we're working with a Captivate uh, this is a stock Captivate, so we're going to be talking about this from a stock standpoint, and by stock I mean JF6 flashed back to stock. Now if you want to know how to flash your phone back to stock, check out the Odin video here, and you can see how to do that with a simple one-click process to get back to this standpoint, so you can start exactly from where we're starting from. Also check out my backup videos for SMS text messaging as well as titanium backup there and there because you're going to need to back up everything. Back up anything that you couldn't possibly live without losing before you start this. And uh, so you can check out all three of those videos, get to this point, and let's go ahead and get involved. So we got to captivate back to JF6. First thing to talk about is do you have three button fix combo? If not, I recommend you flash that. Now what that means is can you hold down volume up, volume down, and power on from a powered off standpoint and have your phone in a recovery mode? Uh, you need to be able to do that for this to make this efficiently work correctly. So that's going to be one of the first things that we do. So go ahead and make sure you've got your prereqs covered as we just talked about. Get to this standpoint and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so as we just talked about, you need that three button fix. So be sure to check out the three button fix video right there if uh, you need to learn how to get that onto your phone. Uh, once you've gotten that done, you can go ahead and power the device off and we're going to get ready to flash a kernel with support for clockwork mod recovery. Um, so we're going to go ahead and power the phone down and we'll catch up with you guys as soon as it's powered off and we're ready to proceed. Okay, once the phone's powered off we need to go ahead and put this thing into download mode. We're going to get ready to flash a kernel that has advanced support for uh, clockwork mod. And we're going to go with the, uh, the speed mod kernel from Hardcore. It's available in the uh, original description of the Cyogen mod, <coughs> Cyogen mod uh, thread on xda-developers.com. So um, you can either uh, do the three button combo to get into download mode by holding volume up, volume down, and power. Uh, if you don't have that, you may actually already have one of my jigs. Uh, that's the way we're going to do it. It's just simpler, really. And um, just get your phone to download mode with no cable plugged in. Open up Odin. Uh, we're going to be using 1.7. Click the PDA option and browse out to where you have the speed mod kernel and double click it and then from here we're going to choose auto reboot uh, and uncheck that and to where all we're going to have is reset time so now we'll take our cable plug in the phone set it aside we'll pick up a COM port and we will flash by saying start this is going to do a side by side here complete itself and give us a pass logo there and there we go so we can unplug the phone. Now we want to reset the phone using the three button combo to get to recovery mode. So volume up, I mean uh, volume down, volume up, hold those two, hold power, all three at the same time. Let the phone do its thing and reboot as it will in just a moment. And when you see the screen again, let go of all three. Now this is going to put the phone into recovery mode. Okay, now the three files that you saw in the annotation, which means note, in the beginning said to load the, uh, <coughs> the .zip for the actual Cyanogen Mod uh, zip installer as well as the EFS backup installer beforehand. You should have those on the SD card at this time. Let's see if I can get this shot here. Okay, now go down to install zip from SD card, choose it then choose zip from SD card and now we want to go down and install the EFS backup.zip right there and then say yeah 
That backs up our EFS folder. The EFS folder contains IMEI information as well as product code information, very valuable stuff that gets restored after we install Cyanogen Mod 7 on the phone. Okay, so after we've done that, choose Go Back, and we'll go down, and we need to put the phone back into download mode. So go down to Speed Mod, ULK Features, Highlight, say Download Mode, and we're going to get ready to flash the next kernel uh, for the phone, which will now be the, uh, the Cyanogen Mod kernel. So plug the phone back in, Odin will pick it back up, give us a COM port, go back to PDA, now select wherever you ins uh, downloaded the initial kernel to uh, for that. So we'll go ahead and double click that, and obviously we have it right here. Now we want to go ahead and choose start again, make sure auto reboot over here is still unchecked, say start. It's going to flash again. Okay, both flashed, pass, unplug the phone again. Same thing, three button combo to reset to recovery. So volume down, volume up, hold power, all three at the same time. Continue to hold until you see the AT&T logo. And release once you see that. Now this is going to put us back into uh, recovery mode and we'll be able to flash the actual ROM itself. All right. From here, you're going to see this, it's going to say no missed partition, that's okay. And you keep doing this in the exact same order, however. So we're going to install zip, choose zip, and then we're going to go down <coughs> and choose CM7 Captivate Initial, and then the date.zip right there. So press power to select, say yes, and you'll select it. We'll set this down and do a time lapse to give you an idea of how long that takes. So be right back. Okay, so after it flashes system, it's going to do some sim links, permissions, flash the radio, and restore your EFS folder. So there's a better look at what all that did right there. From here, we want to go back, and then I like to do a factory reset, delete all user data. This takes just a moment. It's going to format everything it possibly can on the uh, internal SD card, uh, more actually to be more appropriate, the internal system card. And then we're going to do wipe cache partition. Say wipe cache. And I like to also go into the advanced and wipe the Dalvik cache as well. And if it fails, no big deal. Just do all three of the caches. So Dalvik cache wiped. Now we want to go back and reboot system. So now what we've done <coughs> is we've, uh, a recap, is we flashed the original kernel for speed mod. That gave us access to install the EFS zip backup, and from there we put the phone into download mode using the advanced features with speed mod, clockwork mod recovery. While in download mode, we flashed our new kernel for Cyanogen mod, and then we rebooted into recovery again. Then we flashed the actual ROM.zip, and then we uh, wiped all of our cache settings. So after we've done that, press power to reboot system, and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Now it moves right into the Galaxy S Cyanogen Mod screen, and from here it shouldn't take too long. We did do a Dalvik cache wipe, but uh, from here <coughs> it won't take very long and it'll actually start to boot in to the actual operating system. This shouldn't take very long at all. I would say at most two minutes after you do a cache. So there it goes. Uh, there goes the little skateboard guy. Now if you don't do everything exactly like I just told you, you are just going to lock up and soft brick all over the place. Um, the directions are very, very specific and they need to be followed exactly like I said. But check it out. We got Cyanogen Mod 7 running on Captivate that quickly with a couple of speed ups in a couple spots, but it's that simple. So now from here we'll do an about phone and check things out. It's still loading in the background, but uh, very stable, very usable. Uh, so about phone, we've got the kernel, which is obviously gone to 0.7 for a gingerbread kernel, running <coughs> the JL3 modem. It's 2.3.3 Android, and the model numbers also corresponding correctly for i897. If I were to do a quick star pound 06 pound, 
I won't show you that for too long, but that was the IMEI. And um, yeah, it, it's that it's that easy, guys. It's not that tricky. You just have to do it all correctly. Now I'm going to save the rest of this for a ROM review, but that's how to flash Cyanogen Mod 7 on your Samsung Captivate using uh, my particular instructions, maybe varied a little bit from Synergy Mod's instructions, but that's going to get this on your phone correctly. So one more recap. We started from stock JF6, we flashed speed mod kernel, and instantly uh, to do that we booted in a download mode, flash speed mod kernel with Odin 1.7. After we flashed that, we made sure to do a three button combo and reboot into recovery. From there, we installed our EFS backup.zip. From there, we rebooted in download mode, flashed the Cyanogen mod kernel, and rebooted in recovery again. And then from there, we flashed the actual ROM, wiped our Dalvik cache, our system reset, and uh, wiped the other cache as well. And then we rebooted the system, and bam, it's wide awake, nice gingerbread. Tastes so good just to look at it. So, anyways, very cool stuff. Uh, kind of makes me jealous. My Atrix is not moddable as much as this Captivate right now. I know it's coming, but you know I'm a little, I'm a little uh, heartbroken. I kind of miss my Captivate on a daily basis. I may even rock it this week uh, with this to check it out. It's really cool stuff. So, anyways, check us out. MobileTechVideos.com. You can pick up an awesome download mode jig. You saw how easy that was. Just eight dollars right now. Free shipping in the U.S. We'll ship it anywhere in the world for three bucks and to Canada for just a dollar twenty-five extra. And um, yeah, super simple stuff, man. Uh, MobileTechVideos.com. Be sure to subscribe. We love giving you guys awesome tutorials. Uh, consider donating to the Signage and Mod team. I will see if I can find a donation link to them. And uh, if you appreciate my work and if this helped you and saved you time and or a headache and you got this done way quicker by watching this video, feel free to donate to us, man. We really appreciate that. And I've received a couple today and I wanted to say thanks to you guys. If you are watching, you know who you are. If you've donated in the past seven days, uh, or even before that, you know, I, I see each and every one of those, and uh, don't think that I didn't see that if I didn't respond, and I really do appreciate those donations. So, anyways, check us out, mobiletechvideos.com, be sure to subscribe, thanks for watching, and if you're ready to flash Cyanogen Mod 7, good luck.